Hi, I'm John Popper, lead singer of the band Blues Traveler. I also play harmonica and am arguably one of the best in the world, but thank God there really never can be an actual best. But I'm damn good. I'm going to teach you a few things about the harmonica. What you got to start doing to take your harmonica playing to the next level is start listening to harmonica players you like. And then this gets really important. What I like to do is listen to saxophone players I like, listen to guitar players I like, because Jimi Hendrix, the best guitar player in the world, again, arguably, because there is no best, I think he's the best, but again, I'd be in an argument with somebody. But Jimi Hendrix didn't care that he was playing things that a guitar didn't normally do. He would be like, and it's like, that's not a guitar, that's an ambulance in Europe. And see, he was just getting any sound he could out of that thing. And that's really the epiphany I had was like, why can't I do that on the harmonica? Why do I have to sound like, you know, which is good, but that's like what little Walter would do in the 1940s. And I was in the 1980s, this little white kid in the suburbs of New Jersey. Why do I have to sound like an African-American gentleman in the post-depression era projects of Chicago? That, that's not natural. I'm pretending. I'm pretending to be a bluesy guy. There's something that somebody said about the blues that's really wise. The blues is a sound a baby makes when it cries for the very first time when it's born because it doesn't know why it's crying. After that, he knows he'll be picked up and it's all show business. You want to cry that first cry. You want to like really just the impulsive instinctual cry is what you're after. And that means you can be from anywhere and play the blues. You don't have to have a string tie like you're from the Mississippi levees in the late 1800s or something. That's not what the blues is. It's about playing honestly. And so what you want to do is make sounds that mean something to you. One of the first things I was trying to play was a... Uh... And I just love the flow of the violin. It let me practice, you know, hitting some notes heavier than others. And that gives you sort of a touch about dynamics. And um, when you're playing... Uh... Now, someone once told me that any line like that elaborate was supposed to be for a horn, like a saxophone or a trumpet, and why? There's no reason why not. And other than that, as far as technique goes, develop rudiments, you learn just a little pattern you want to play, and just get good at doing it well. Enjoy the sounds you're making on the instrument, even if it's repetitive and redundant. You're enjoying it. Your friends can't stand it. But eventually, one day they turn around and go, wow, I didn't know you played that well. And the thing is, they were listening to you learn how to do that the whole time. They were just trying to block it out of their head when you sucked. Let everything be on the table. And I think that's a great way to sort of, um, aesthetically anyway, up your game on the harmonica. 